And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Start off a little bit gloomy this morning, and we were thinking, are we going to see some rain showers? What's going on here? Well, by the afternoon, that low-level stratus deck eroded, but what's cool to see is this high-level cirrus clouds started to roll in from the south, lifting northward, and that's because of a system that's way down into northern Illinois. Our radar and satellite is showing those high-level clouds lifting up to the north right now, but they're not going to be bringing any rainfall here in northeast Wisconsin. You see where the rain showers are down towards southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois and also additional cloud cover off towards the west. There's a lot of these weak disturbances somewhere across somewhere, whether it's the northern plains, the southern Great Lakes. We have a very weak level of high pressure right now, keeping us high and dry for the time being. And it does look like tomorrow and Friday will be dry days, but then the weekend turns quite unsettled. The warm temperatures, if you're wondering, where are they? Well, they're down to the south. Take a look. Phoenix, 103 today. Vegas at 104. We had 90s down from Tampa to San Antonio. But here in the good chunk of the United States, we are in the lower to mid 70s. Even Bismarck, only 61 for a high temperature today. But things will be changing as if we head into the weekend and next week. We're tracking some warmer weather moving in here. It is the 50s by the lakeshore right now. 54 in Kiwani, 62 in Manitowoc, as well as in uh, Sheboygan. We've got upper 60s and lower to mid 70s as you get farther inland away from the lake shore. Skycast shows just a little bit of cloud cover overnight tonight and maybe even some patchy fog. By the afternoon tomorrow, we should start to see any of that fog road, mostly sunny skies, and that sunshine will continue into our Friday. But by the weekend, we will be seeing the clouds increase once again, and the showers and storms will be returning. 52 for an overnight low temperature, northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, we warm up into the lower 70s. Those winds continuing off the lake, so lakeside areas will be cooler than farther inland. Probably uh, farther inland, we could be seeing the mid and upper 70s. 74 on our Friday, then cooling down really depends how much cloud cover on our day on Saturday. If we do see more sunshine, that 71 could easily go up to 75, 76, closer towards 80 on Sunday, and then upper 70s on Monday. It looks like the greatest chance of heavy rains will be Sunday and Monday. A few lingering showers on Tuesday, but taking a look at those temperatures is no more 60s. We're getting into the upper 70s and lower 80s, and that Hooray. technically is above average, but we're not seeing any of those. Yeah, technically. <laughs> <laughs> average size about with rain. 77. Yeah, with rain, gloomy, but uh, at least we're going the right direction. It does seem like we might start to calm down with the rain as well. Yay, but you're saying there's also a chance it could be nice and sunny on Saturday. It just... We'll yeah, see. We'll we're going to gonna see. have breaks in their storms. It's not yeah. going to be a washout. Sunday and Monday look like the worse ones. All right. Well, thanks, Gino, for that.